Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Faith. You guys are probably sick of me saying that by now. Watch what I can do with my hair. Blow it around that way. Around that way. I just think that's the coolest thing, and I feel like I'm like a cheerleader when I do it. Anyway, um, welcome to my podcast for the day. So today we are going to be talking about God. Um, this is a little Jesus off the cross, and I thought that was the coolest thing. It's like he is off the cross now forever. Praise God. So um, what really struck me today as what to talk about was the fact that God goes before us and what that really means. So I'm trying to put in perspective because I know what it's like in my mind, but not in your mind. Um, maybe you get what I'm talking about, but God going before us means we have no obstacles in our way to get to heaven. Now there are challenges and different things, but God goes before us. So for example, um, (laughs) so like a baby, the baby is running towards his dad's arms and his mom's in the back. This is a pretty good example, actually, like his mom's in the back of behind him. And she says, there's like Legos on the floor and stuff. She's going to go and clear the way so that he can go safely to his dad. And that's kind of how it is with God, that no matter what we see in front of us, no matter what we face, be still and know that he is God because he's clearing the way. And I think that's really something to remember because if we think we're all alone or we are the only one challenged with this or that um, circumstance, problem, Um, we can tend to get very, very um, down and depressed and um, just not feeling okay. And I was just praying though outside today. I was praying for my future family. And I realized God telling me that I go before you. And I think that's really interesting. And it's very, it brings so much peace to me at least because God is so good and He's going to, you know, do what a God does, this God of love. And uh, I love God. And, you know, clear a way for us. So I think that's really interesting to remember that God goes before us all the time, all the time. Um, Another thing I want to talk about was Pride Month. Not in a good way, but in a, well, I don't know what the word is. But I don't care how much shaming I get on here. I don't because people need to hear the truth, but there should not be a month dedicated to pride month. The only pride I have is in the sacred heart of Jesus, whose month it is. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that subject. Um, but we need to love everyone. Um, I was getting a car recently at a, um, dealer and, The guy was saying how he grew up Catholic, but while he was growing up Catholic, his brother came out as gay and his whole Catholic church was just so against that, that they shunned him, they shamed him and everything. And he says, that's why I broke away. And I'm thinking to myself, that's really bad. Like you shouldn't be shaming people for stuff like that. I don't care if it's a sin. Jesus loves everyone and they should not be shaming him away from the Catholic church. You know what I mean? So I brought up that we go to a Catholic church, but like a traditional one, a different one, a, um, you know, we don't have those problems there. And, um, which kind of, he was kind of leaning towards it, but, um, but we need to love everyone. We need to show everyone that, you know, Jesus is King, Jesus is God, but we need to also show that we love everyone. And I feel like, People that grew up, grew up, bullied, bully other people. And it's not okay. But if you show love to them, they might turn away from, you know, what they're facing or whatever. Um, it's like a demon inside you. And maybe sometimes it is a demon inside them. Um, do you like my flag in the background? So cool. Um, so, yeah, so that was about God. That being said, um, let's talk about different problems that are happening in the world. So 
I'm not that good at like news and things, but I have seen there are so many tornadoes and different things that are happening. And I, as the president, know what's going on, kind of. Um, But like just different things like tornadoes and like the heat's been really scorching hot here in Pennsylvania and just different things that I believe that God is letting happen for a reason. Maybe those people are having too many pride ceremonies. There's just different reasons why God does things. And I feel like if we actually try to 